Me and Earl and the Dying Girl is directed by Alfonso Gomez Rejon and was originally a novel written by Jesse Andrews and he adapted it to the screenplay that is this movie. Me, also known as Greg, is a high schooler that doesn't really fit into each group of high school. He doesn't want to be very close to people, but at the same time he wants people to be able to like him and to be likable. He has his friend Earl that he refers to as his co-worker because he doesn't want to get too close to being friends, but they have been friends since they, since they were little, and their passion is making parodies of classical movies like A Clockwork Orange, Alfred Hitchcock, all the Criterion Collection. His mom finds out that one of his classmates, Rachel, was diagnosed with leukemia and then forces him to go and befriend this person. And through that forced friendship, Greg starts to have a better understanding of why connecting with somebody is a good thing. This movie was very well done. It's definitely an Oscar contender. It had a great blend of comedy and drama because it still is a film that it involves cancer, so that drama does come in, but the comedy and drama meshes together so well. It's very quirky. I could only really relate it to a Wes Anderson type film. This really was the perfect casting for this type of movie. The girl who plays Rachel did a fantastic job. She did a great job portraying that struggle with dealing with having cancer and being at that young and vulnerable age. Earl was hilarious. He was one of my favorite characters of the movie and he really brought a lot of humor into his role. There's a lot of good supporting actors too. There's Jonathan Bernthal from Walking Dead. Nick Offerman did a great job, as well as Molly Shannon. All of these people did an amazing job. The dialogue is so well done through a lot of the scenes in this movie. In the end, I had a great time with this movie. It was really funny. It had a lot of good heart and it was very charming. It was a little self-aware through a lot of the times where it took me out of the movie and sometimes did kind of take away from how self-aware it was being. But overall, I think it was a great movie. It's definitely gonna be up there for nominations on something in, when the Oscars come out. And I'm gonna give Me Earl and The Dying Girl a nine out of 10. So guys, if you see this out in theaters, go ahead and check it out. If you've already seen it, please tell me down in the comments below what you thought about it. If you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for my next videos coming out. And I will see you at the next review.